Ducats held their annual Black and Gold Day in Guelph on Saturday. I'm here with the spec Steve Milton. And Steve, what did you think? Well, I think it was necessary. I mean, that became very obvious to both of us, I think, Drew, when we got here. There are a lot of little things that, that they have to get used to. I think very successful first day. And I, I, I think the way I'm certainly pitching it uh, in print it, is that this was the start of trying to make this home field advantage. Because if you look at Ivor Wynn the last few years, they really didn't take advantage of that as a home field stadium. Maybe they can do that here. Uh, lots of fans out here tonight, uh, or sure today, and I think uh, a lot of the Hamilton contingent came up. Did you have a chance to talk to some people and get their impressions? Yeah, I did. Now, you got to remember, I think, people, Drew, the people that are coming are the ones that aren't so jaded. And there's a lot of angry people still. I, I don't think we can pretend that there aren't, and they wouldn't be here. Uh, so we're probably getting the people who, you know, basically we're preaching to the choir here. Uh, I, th I think a lot of them, the Box J, J boys, are pretty excited because they're going to have their own place. And, and I think people are a little, I think they're healthily, if that's a word, surprised that there, there, isn't, there is an atmosphere here. And we only saw 500 people here today. I think if we see 14,000, you might have yourself a home field. There were also uh, some little things we got a chance to have a look at, uh, the, the dressing rooms. We have a chance to uh, have a look at the field. What did you think of the facilities themselves? Well, I, I th there's a lot of behind-the-scenes work that the average fan will never appreciate that the Tiger Cat organizations... I, I'm not a cheerleader here for the Tiger Cats, but I think they need some, some promotion on this because when you walk behind and you see what they've done, the, for instance, the dressing rooms and how they've had to be modified and how big they are and how... And that's important because they don't really have a dressing room at home even. They're going to be dressing in their own. Yes, they're going to fashion it themselves, but this is probably better than they're going to be seeing all year. Uh, make sure you check out Monday Spectator. We'll have a full report from Black and Gold Day. And make sure you check out the Scratching Post blog for all the up-to-minute Ticat news reporting from Guelph. With the Spec Steve Milton, I'm Drew Edwards.